Hello everyone, welcome to the point number two for this milestone six. Uh, so for this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a search, uh, a search for the tag. So we want to be able to, when example, the user gonna start to enter the tag you're gonna want to add inside a photo. We're gonna add uh, an autocomplete stuff and thing like this, like you can see in Instagram and stuff like that. So for doing this, uh, we're gonna need to make use of some uh, stuff Ecto gave us, and I think much more like a Postgres uh, uh, search feature we can do. So as you know, in the last one, uh, first thing, sorry, this thing is the playground I just downloaded. Uh, I know this is not the one I used before, but if you want to download it, it's a GraphQL playground built by the Prisma team. And if you want to install it, uh, just do with brew, brew uh, cast install uh, GraphQL playground. And after that, this is the same thing as the other one. So you can put your HTTP header right there, your variable. And I mean, I just like the UI because it's dark and <laughs> my eyes don't, don't cry. So uh, yeah, so in the last one, we was able to create a photo like that. And uh, when we run it, uh, we create uh, some tag and like that. So this is the tag we have put. So remember what we've done, we have a tag photo. Where here finally it's just a join table. We we'll take the photo ID and the tag ID and they join both together. And this is what we have with the tag. So for creating the search uh, feature, what we're gonna make, uh, what we're gonna do is first thing we're gonna need to go inside the schema, uh, the, the schema of the of the the project. Inside this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to create a new query. So as you know, this thing is not a mutation. We don't gonna change the thing. We just want to query. So for doing this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create here a new field. So we can put a description, uh, search at tag by his name. So here that's gonna be field search tag. Why I do search tag is because maybe you're gonna want to have another search feature. So this way I don't want to just call this search and you see what I mean? So here, it's gonna be a list of tag, what we're gonna return. And here, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna pass an argument, and the argument is gonna be a name, and it's gonna be a type of a not null string. Like that, okay? After this, this thing gonna resolve to the resolver that post, and we're gonna create a search tag function, we take three argument like that, okay? So now if we jump in the pose right there, we have already all the other one we have created. Remember, this is almost like always what, <coughs> sorry, always what we do. We return a, a tuple like that with okay and uh, the response of it. So it's gonna be pretty simple, so search tag. Here the first argument, we don't need anything for the parent, but we're gonna need stuff from the argument and that's gonna be the name. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say okay, post dot search tag. So here, remember, it's just kind of the glue between your uh, domain logic and the GraphQL. So why we do this is because if we want to change stuff uh, with the domain and thing like this, uh, or you want to use recipe and thing like this, you can reuse your function. It's gonna, I think it's much more better. So now here, we're gonna just pass the name. That's it, okay? So now if we jump to the, the post, right there, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna create this function. Okay, so now we need to ask yourself, okay, how can we do this? So this is what I want to show you. It's if we go to the Ecto API, we can use the I like feature. So you have two things, you have the like and the I like. So the like, it's when you want to search for a string finally, but this thing, it's case sensitive if you use the like, but we don't really want to use a case sensitive because what we want is if the user enter, I don't know, like winter with a big W, we want to be able to, to go and search this winter. So we want the case insensitive. So that's why we can make use of the like. After that, as you can see, it's pretty simple. So you do your from, like whenever a query SQL you do. And after that, you do where the I like, and you put which field you want to search and kind of the kind of the rejects search here. Now the question is maybe what is this um, percentage symbol? Is the finally the 
where you want to search. So what I mean by that, it's here, if we look at this chapter with this percentage, what that means is we're gonna search when the chapter like is before and the, the search after. I don't know if you see what I try to say, it's this thing is gonna be about uh, the position in the search. So if you put this percentage at the first thing here, the chapter is gonna be like, you need to have the chapter at the end of everything. But this is not what we want for us. So what are we gonna do? It's here. We're gonna receive the name. We're gonna create a term because we're gonna do some uh, string format. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say string that trim. We want to trim that. I don't want to uh, someone search and do something like this, like uh, Apple. And you see what I mean? Like I want to make sure that everything is gonna be the way the DB gonna receive it. And now I pass the name. But now what I want, like I told you, I'm going to put the percentage here and the percentage right there. So now if the user enter something like ter, you're going to receive winter. If you search for something like in, you're going to receive also winter because in is inside winter. Okay, so now here what we're going to do finally is we're going to do repo that out because we want to receive an array. Remember, if you do repo that one, it's the equivalent of when we use mongoose, find one. Now it's just the find, so we put all from t in tag, but now we don't get autocomplete because here we didn't uh, finally alias the tag. So we're gonna alias. And now here what we do is we do comma where I like. Remember what the I like need. I like need the string and the search, nothing more. So. Here, that's going to be t.name, so we search for the name, and we pass the term. Don't do this like that. We need here to get with the pin operator to say what we want here is the variable here we are. okay? So now if we save and we jump on the GraphQL uh, playground, here we have search tags. Oh, I think I call that search tag. I think it's pretty good because we return an array. I think it's good. So now if we put name and I put, I don't know, like yo, and I say name, now we get an error. And we get tag m schema. Tag m, sorry. So we find the error. So now if we run it, we get an empty array because I mean, if we look inside uh, the DB, we have nothing, okay? So now if I just search for sun, SU, we get everyone with the summer. So we have one, two, and three. If I search for 2000, I'm gonna get my summer 2000. If I search for just MM, we're gonna get summer. Remember what I told you, this MM is inside the search. So that's why. So just for showing you what I mean by that, it's okay here. I'm going to remove the percentage at the first. Okay. So now if I do MM, I get nothing. If I do search, I get nothing. Uh, not search, sorry, sum. So now here, the summer like that, like you vary the position of where you want your uh, term to be inside the kind of the search. So like you can play with this. I mean, maybe my explanation is really bad, but if you look at this, uh, example, if I say 20, it don't work. If I say some, it don't work. But if I say more, now I'm going to get winter. And why? It's because now I say, give me everything else. who we'll finally finish with my, what I have. So example, um, if we look at the postico, example, if I say, uh, 96 okay just 96 I'm gonna get my winter uh, oops 96 see what I mean like finally the percentage really changed so but for us what we want is this percentage like this because now if I say 96 e work but now if I say some e work if I say win you were in now we get all the stuff we have so now if we look at what we're gonna do in the front end it's gonna be we're gonna make use of the debuns feature where we're gonna say the user when you're gonna type, we're gonna start to do this kind of searching. And we're gonna say example, after two uh, character, we're gonna start to search. For example, if the user start to write 
W I. We're gonna give him the if he shows after that 96. Now that's gonna break because now the, the yes we have we are in 96, but he don't follow the string. So that's why like we're gonna show him the auto complete below. So the user can just click on this and not enter all this kind of stuff. So it's gonna be the same with summer. So if you start to enter summer and after that type summer uh, and do 2000, like you see what I mean? Like, I mean, it's auto complete feature. I don't want to. Yeah, so that was this for this video. So after that, uh, after this video, I think now is gonna be the time to jump in the front end. Uh, one of the things I also I find it's uh, we cannot return the tag of the photo so that's gonna be something we can do uh, before so we're gonna jump on this thing hope you learned something here um, and have a good day everyone bye